Hey guys, today I'm meeting Marjorie. I'm so excited to meet her. Apparently she's really good at cake decorating, but she doesn't know how to bake. I haven't really baked with anyone yet. I'm very excited. Let's save this cake. <clears throat> Hi, come in! <laughs> I'm Marjorie. I work in a supermarket in a bakery department. I decorate cakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have any tears? Oh my oh, gosh! So How nice to meet you! <laughs> Sorry. I'm just so happy to see you. <laughs> I'm so happy to meet you. Yeah. I've heard that you're really good at decorating, decorating. very talented at decorating, but that you don't bake the cakes yourself. Mm, yes. I love decorating cakes, but I always struggle with the baking parts. When I bake, it's a little, sometimes it's dry. Yeah. And sometimes I don't get the proper texture. In the, so, in the cake in itself? The cake, yeah. So tell me about your, your cake fail. When I had my baby during her first birthday, I ended up making a dummy cake and I asked my friend to bake a real cake for my daughter. Sounds like you surpassed the fail. Like you were so scared of a fail that you just decorated a dummy, dummy yeah. and then got your friend who knows how to bake to <laughs> bake. To bake a real cake for the event. It's like building a beautiful house, but it's just a solid box on the inside. And then you just live in the shed beside it and look at the house. I think this episode is called Save the Bake. We're gonna change it. Because you know how to cake. <laughs> this is clear. Yeah, everything she's doing is still very impressive. But I wanted to decorate a cake that's edible. On my channel, I love to make cakes that I call mega cakes. That's when I like to really experiment with flavors. So what I thought is we would make like a pink lemonade cake. So we're gonna make a vanilla cake. We're gonna dye the batter yellow and pink and marble it. So I have all of the ingredients for what I call my ultimate vanilla cake. This is a cake that I love. I use it all the time, but I'm biased. And I've really engineered it so that it's sturdy enough that if you wanted to make a shaped cake, uh, this is a great recipe for that. Vanilla cake, believe it or not, is one of the hardest cakes to make. Nothing can hide in vanilla cake. If it doesn't taste good, it's very obvious. We're gonna use a stand mixer. I love using a stand mixer because it just has a lot of power. So butter, the sugar, and the vanilla can all go into this bowl. Now you can attach the bowl to the mixer. I like to put the paddle in it first. Guys, this is gonna be a bit loud. My apologies. Uh, we'll let that come together, and while it's coming together, you can start to crack the eggs. So you can see it's all come together, so we can turn it up now and really let it be. We have all of the flour, salt, and baking powder. We're gonna sift these three together, okay? So we've been beating this for about five minutes on a medium high speed. I didn't beat this much. I oh! this long, so I know where I fail. Yeah, know? so beating that's so, that's is really one thing. important. Okay. So you want to scrape it all back down and make sure everything's incorporated in all the steps along the way. So this is a great scrape down. Now you can put the mixer back up. And the next step is to add the eggs. But I find when I'm making a bigger batch, sometimes when you do one at a time, by the time you've incorporated every egg, you've actually over mixed them. Okay. The first one have, has been so over mixed compared to the last one. So you can add two at a time and then just turn it to stir. I don't know why this scares Marjorie so much. She's obviously been around baking, is familiar with it, but for some reason she can't bring herself to bake. So I wanna work on her baking confidence because I know she can do this. So the next step in the batter is to alternate the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients. So because the batter is very liquidy, I like to start with dry because anytime you're adding dry ingredients to something super liquidy, it just leaves the opportunity for lumps of flour to be caught in the liquid. So that's why we start with dry before we further liquefy this batter. I'm actually writing a song to help people remember this process. It goes, dry, wet, dry, wet, dry, wet, dry. It looks great. Everyone, dry, dry wet, wet, dry, dry wet, wet, dry, dry wet, dry. dry. This is the completed vanilla batter. What do you think of the batter? I think it's thicker. It's thicker than, than I, I made. That's why I don't make vanilla cakes. When I bake at home, I don't really mix that well in a mixer, so it's not as 
fluffy. We're gonna divide this into two portions and color it two different colors. Sound good? Okay, Marjorie, I have a scale, so I'm just going to portion out the batter. If you don't have a scale at home, don't worry. Just have them side by side, bang them down, and just check with your eye, or you could even insert a ruler. So what I like to do is take some batter out and add my color there. This is gel color. I always use gel color to color my batter, just because it's more concentrated and you're adding a lot less liquid to the batter. And so what we can do now is use this batter and add it back as we see fit. But we don't just have to dump it all back in. We can decide the tone we're looking for. I think this one is okay. Yeah, I really like this color. It's your turn and you can color the yellow. I just color the whole thing and then mix it in the mixer. Ah. That's how I do it. <laughs> so maybe I over mix also the butter. So that's why the texture is not that great. So you can see how concentrated the color is, yeah, it right? Looks like orange. It's practically orange now in that little bit. So you're gonna stir that in very gently. It's too strong color. Keep mixing gently. Good. Good. I don't see any streaks. I like baking in three inch high cake pans and I always line the bottom of my pans with parchment that you can just place in your pan and if ever you've miscut, you can just take it out and trim it. Now this is the fun part and you just want to dollop in the batter and it's really interesting once you cut it open to reveal the patterns. We get to bake them. A frequent question I get is always, how long did you bake that? How long did you leave that bake? And you should never throw a cake in the oven and then walk away confident that it will definitely take 40 minutes because that's what a piece of paper said. Everybody's oven is different. Even I've had different ovens in my lifetime and they all work differently. You always have to keep a watchful eye on an oven. I have to use my instinct in baking, not just rely on the recipe. Marjorie, we're gonna make lemon curd now. I absolutely love lemon curd because it's really easy to make and it's so flavorful. So to make the lemon curd, the first thing we need to do is start to zest and juice some lemons. So for our lemon curd, we need three quarters of a cup of lemon juice and for our lemon syrup, we need a half a cup. The next thing we can do, Marjorie, is we need to divide some eggs because we need 10 yolks and then two whole eggs. So what we need to do first is we're gonna whisk together the sugar and the lemon zest into this bowl. All of the ingredients are beautifully whisked together by Marjorie for the lemon curd, and now it gets cooked on top of a double boiler, which means you set a bowl on top of a pot of simmering water over the fire. <laughs> over the fire sounds like we're gonna do this while camping. Yeah. Don't make lemon curd while camping. So once the curd is nice and thick, what we're going to do is pour it into a new bowl. Teamwork makes the dream work. I usually just use um, buttercream and ganache. Making lemon curd infused in a cake is it's great. Now we're gonna make a lemon simple syrup. I'm having Marjorie pour lemon juice, water, and sugar into a pot, and now we're gonna place it on the stove top to boil. This works with lime, orange, grapefruit. It's amazing across the board. Once it's done, we'll strain it out into a bowl. It smells so good. It's really important that we let all of these things cool before we assemble them. So the lemon curd needs to be completely cool, the simple syrup needs to be completely cool, and most importantly, the cakes need to be completely cool. Wait, we have to take them out of the oven. Ooh, they're so beautiful. Oh, it's so good, it smells so good. So let's have a look. So now is the time that I'd wanna test. I like to use a cake tester or anything. This is just for a cocktail. I like to just poke in the center all the way down and pull it out. This looks good. If anything, you, if you see just a few crumbs, that's okay. That means you're catching it when it's exactly baked. The cake looks amazing when it came out from the oven. It's so pretty. And my daughter loves yellow and I love pink, so it's perfect. Okay, Marjorie, I wanted to show you that there's more uses for lemon curd than just using it in cake. So we're just gonna make a graham cracker crust right now and bake it off so that it's ready and cooled and we can fill it with lemon curd later on. I've 
never done any decorations like this with the tart on top so I'm just super excited to see the final cake. Okay, they look good. They're nicely browned. I think they're good. Since your cake is a pink lemonade theme, I thought it would be cute to incorporate some candy along the outside. These are just pink little lemon slice candies, but I do think they're a little big. So what I'd like to do is cut them. This looks very nice. And I was also thinking, when I think of a glass of lemonade, I think about ice yes. in it, nice and cool. So I was thinking we could use rock candy to mimic that. All of this candy and the tiny lemon meringue tart are gonna be the perfect decoration for this cake. I'm so excited to see the outcome with all those stuffings. I think it's gonna be fun. Look at how beautiful these cakes look. I can't wait to cut it. Are you ready to cut them? Yes. Have you leveled a cake before? Yes. Marjorie is leveling this cake right now and as she removes the top, it looks beautiful. It's like sunshine in a cake. It's so it's perfect. So perfect. I found a new best friend too. <laughs> Let's clean up these crumbs and I have another best friend. I cannot tell you how much I love that Marjorie also loves cleaning. I think I'm more happy about our cleaning bond than our cake bond. I'm a clean freak. <laughs> so I might not be able to bake in real life with you guys like I did with Marjorie, but you can still learn how to bake with me and a whole bunch of other talented dessert artists that you probably already follow on Instagram. Our live baking tutorials give you the chance to learn from the best and make gorgeous desserts. You still have a few hours to sign up for tonight's Unicorn and Rainbow Cookie class, or check out our full class lineup and find one that works for you. We have things like adorable avocado cake pops with Jyoti or galactic love cookies with Megan, and so much more. When you sign up, you keep the recipe workbook and a recording of the live stream forever. Click here to sign up. I've let everyone use Sir Squeeze Marjorie, but I have never let anyone else fill him. But I'm gonna let you do that today. I am so honored that I'm the first one to fill Sir Squeeze. Now you can fill Sir Squeeze with the lemon simple syrup we made earlier. It's completely cool. You can just pour it in. So now, have you ever used a simple syrup bottle? Yes. Oh, okay. It's really surprising that you should like put a lot on it, so it lacks moisture in the cake. This is better than brush. So this is just vanilla Italian meringue buttercream. You know how you know how to fill it. Right? I know that you know this. And now we're gonna make some lemon buttercream with a mixture of buttercream and the curd. The lemon curd is not only gonna add lemony flavor to the buttercream, but it's gonna add a nice soft yellow color. So you could just stir these two together. It looks really great. So now we can fill the cake. I'm demonstrating to Marjorie how to fill the cake. I'm just gonna do one layer and she's gonna do the rest. So I pipe a fence of Italian meringue buttercream, then I spread a very thin layer of lemon curd, and then I dollop on some lemon buttercream and spread it out towards the fence into one even layer. Now I can add a second layer of cake and I'm gonna let Marjorie run free. Freedom within a column, you know what I mean? That's not quite a prison. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I don't even know why I bothered demoing because she clearly knows how to use a spatula. She knows how to spread lemon curd buttercream. She piped the fence faster than I did. I don't even know. I feel like a fool. Who's saving whose cake here? I don't even, I'm gonna go clean something. I'll let her finish. <laughs> How straight it is, it's beautiful. So do you know what's next? You get a crumb cook? Yes! Marjorie filled and stacked the cake beautifully, and now I'm gonna teach her how to crumb coat it. Never mind, she's already halfway done. This looks amazing, Marjorie. <laughs> so we can stick it in the fridge now and let it chill. See you later. See you later.
You made these beautiful tart shells, and we're gonna have a little tiny lemon meringue mm -hmm. tart on top of the cake. I went ahead and melted some white chocolate, and I'm going to spoon it into each tart shell and have Marjorie brush the bottom with the chocolate. The reason we do this is so that once we fill these tarts with lemon curd, it doesn't make the crust soggy. So now we can put these aside to chill and we'll top them with meringue at the very end. It's time to ice this cake. I think I'm just gonna watch. It looks fantastic. Having uh, Michelle and the compliment me is a big help for my confidence. So I'm going to show you how to do the drip and then you're going to take over. So I'm going to have Marjorie turn this into a drip cake. We're going to use a hot pink chocolate drip on this beautiful soft lemon cake. I've asked Marjorie if she's used drip before. She has. She just pours ganache on a cake and spreads it. I love using drip with a nozzle or in a piping bag because I'm very controlling and I like to control the drips. So you start to spread and I'll squeeze it for you. I'm very comfortable with the decorating part. I love cake decorating. How do you feel? <laughs> so now what I was thinking is it would look really nice if you use this rock candy and you can alternate pink and white and just create like a little border at the bottom of the cake. I just want to show her that I can do the decorating. What do you think? So beautiful. We made two tarts just in case, okay? We're gonna top the cake with a tart, but we're always gonna make an extra one just in case bringing this to your house, something happens. This tart needs a mountain of meringue on top. It'll be the perfect cake topper. You could just whip up a simple meringue, top your tart using a spoon, and then I brought another friend with me. You haven't met her yet. So now what you're gonna do is brulee the meringue. I brought Bernadette. Have you ever used one of these? Yes. Okay. Get it? Burn a debt. And now I think what we need to do is add some dragees and just make it look as if they were sprinkled on top. It's not about creating a perfect circle. Your family's gonna be so excited. What do you think? They're going to be very like excited, especially my daughter. Mm -hmm. My daughter and I always watch uh, Michelanda's show and she loves watching it because she loves cakes. She loves um, baking and decorating cakes too with me. So speaking of your daughter, I was thinking you could write her a little message on this cake. <laughs> MJ, mommy loves you so much. Enjoy your lovely cake. Love, mommy. <laughs> That's so sweet. She's gonna love reading that or having it read to her. You did so great. I'm, I'm so proud of you. Can I hug you? I know the first thing um, Angie's gonna do with the cake is like grab the candies. Yeah. <gasps> Hi. Hi. She's here. You're Are nice. you MJ? Oh, oh yay! <laughs> That's what I want. Thank you so much. I feel so happy living here, um, learning those tips that I can now say that I'm a baker. Marjorie, I'm so proud of you. You did beyond amazing. I'm not even sure you needed my help, but I'm so glad that I got to work with you and I hope you'll make cakes from start to finish now because you can do it all. I have some more cakes to save and I'm out. Guys, was that good? Was that like a dramatic exit? Am I low enough? <laughs>